Hello, Drew Devitt here at New Way Air Baron. You can see we've assembled it here. Uh, it's got some apertures in it so that the, the sand might fall through and so that you can look through and see what's going on in there. You might be able to see the tubing and the bearings inside of the stage there. Or if you look in the end view here, you can see the bearings inside of the stage. So those, this is one of the bearings right here. You can see it has a spherical seat in the back, porous carbon face on the front. Uh, here's the ball stud that would match in the back stud. You can adjust it either from the flats above the bearing or from the hole in the back with a four millimeter Allen key. Uh, it's got a 13 millimeter set screw. So these are a puck type bearing. Alternatively, we have a bonded bearing design. So this is a stage that fits on the same guideway that was built with the bonded bearing technique. So you can see the bearings bonded in there. And here you can see the actual injection points where the epoxy was injected in to set the bearings inside of the housing. So just to show you that this stage also has that uh, as a demonstration. One of the advantages of the puck type stage is that uh, the, the, the adjustment points are deterministic and uh, can be kinematic so that they can be modeled really easily compared to the elastically averaged uh, bonded bearing stages. Also, because the bearing has a thread in it, you can adjust the height of the stage and by adjusting the height of the stage, you would be able to easily set your motor preloads. Um, that's another advantage of it. Another important advantage is that it allows us to set a preload, sort of the, the one bearing preloading against the other bearing. And so in this case, this structure, although it looks pretty stiff, is actually a spring and will try to become sort of oval as the studs try to push it up. So uh, the structure can be the spring or you can uh, add some form of compliance. Like So here's an example of another bearing where you can see there's a Belleville washer instead of a spherical seat in the bottom. And so that allows for a spring pressure and allows for changes in the guideway thickness uh, to be taken up by a relatively linear spring. So one of the main reasons for preloading is to keep dirt out from underneath of the bearing. So when they're forced against their guideway, they'll stay clean. So here we've got some sandblasting dirt. Here we'll just go ahead and put that on the slide. Jeremy, why don't you come around here and see if you can see that. Just cleans it right out of the way. So the total flow through the stage is about 30 cubic feet per hour or about one half a cubic foot per minute. So you see that it's not actually blowing the sand all over the place, but it is very effective at pushing the sand you know, out of its way. All right, so, you're gonna, let's see. so we think that uh, this is probably the best bearing technology for you folks considering your environment. Looking forward to talking with you. Good day.